liquefied natural gas FLNG, facilities are floating platforms designed for the production and storage of liquefied natural gas LNG, directly from offshore natural gas fields or in some instances from shore gas fields. The FLNG facilities use the latest advancements in LNG technology to produce, store, and transfer LNG to LNG carriers without the need for a traditional onshore terminal. The floating liquefaction facility is typically situated offshore, moored via chain to seabed, or nearshore, moored alongside a jetty or quay where it can be easily accessed for the delivery of natural gas and is equipped with the necessary equipment to perform the liquefaction process. The journey begins because they're going to build the floating LNG facility. This steel turned to blocks. Think of it as Lego. Lots of these blocks being put together. It's huge. And the blocks turned into the hull. Instead of piping gas to land, Shell will liquefy natural gas at sea. And here at the Samsung shipyard in South Korea, the vision is becoming a reality. The main double hulled structure was built by the Technip Samsung Consortium in the Samsung Heavy Industries Geode Shipyard in South Korea. Construction was officially started when the first metal was cut for the substructure in October 2012. Other equipment such as subsea wellheads were constructed at other locations around the world. It was launched on November 30, 2013 with no superstructure, accommodation and process plant. The vessel displaces around 600,000 tons when fully loaded, more than five times the displacement of a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. The vessel is moored by its start to 16 seabed-driven steel piles, each 65 meters long and 5.5 meters in diameter. After 14 months of construction, the Shell Prelude Defilengi project continues to create history. Measuring nearly half a kilometer in length and weighing over 200,000 tons, 74 meters wide, 
the facility's enormous hull is ready to take to the water for the first time. Each year these modules will produce enough natural gas to meet the needs of a city larger than Hong Kong. There are 14 different modules all doing different things. Each module weighs on average about five, five and a half thousand tons. So right here in front of you today, there's about a quarter of it sitting on this quayside. Inside the dry dock, the engineers are making one last inspection. Prelude Del G loading arm at cryogenic conditions. It is exciting chilled to 162 degrees centigrade. The natural gas will be transported as a cryogenic liquid. Good result, very happy the first of many safety tests. They are pressuring up to 10,000 psi, which is about 300 times the pressure of your car tires because it's so big and it sits, it's the final test. Then 450,000 piping components to connect across the shipyard. One of the vast storage tanks is about to receive a pump. Analyst estimates in 2013 for the cost of the vessel were between Austin dollars 80 cents to 12.6 billion dollars. Shell estimated in 2014 that the project would cost up to us 3.5 billion dollars per million tons of production capacity. Competitive pressures from an increase in the long-term production capabilities of North American gas fields due to hydraulic fracturing technologies and increasing Russian export capabilities may reduce the actual profitability of the venture from what was anticipated in 2011. In 2021, the Watto Day News website reported that it was believed that the ship had cost at least a $17.5 billion, though Shell has never confirmed the actual cost. The process of converting natural gas into LNG involves reducing the temperature of the gas to minus 260 degree Fahrenheit, which causes it to condense into a liquid form. Converting natural gas into LNG involves three main stages, pretreatment, liquefaction, and storage. pretreatment stage, the natural gas is cleaned of impurities and then compressed to a high pressure. This stage is critical in ensuring that the natural gas is free of contaminants that could cause problems during the liquefaction process. The liquefaction stage is where the natural gas is cooled to minus 260 degree Fahrenheit, causing it to condense into a liquid form. The cooling process is typically achieved through the use of refrigerants such as propane, ethane, or nitrogen. 
The liquefied natural gas is then stored in specially designed tanks on the floating platform. The storage technology used on floating LNG liquefaction facilities is designed to maintain the temperature of the LNG at minus 260 degree Fahrenheit, which is necessary to keep it in a liquid state. The tanks are typically made of stainless steel or aluminum and are insulated to prevent heat loss. The tanks are also designed to withstand the pressure generated by the stored LNG, as well as the forces of the sea and other environmental conditions. There are a few storage technologies available in the market each with its own application. The FLNG provides a way to access natural gas resources that are located in remote or hard-to-reach offshore areas and is especially important for countries that are not well endowed with pipelines or other infrastructure for the transportation of natural gas. Advantages of FLNG facilities are numerous, including cost savings FLNG facilities eliminate the need for expensive onshore infrastructure, reducing capital expenditures and operating costs. Environmentally friendly FLNG facilities produce less greenhouse gas emissions compared to traditional onshore terminals, as they don't require pipelines and land-based infrastructure. Faster development time FLNG facilities can be deployed faster than traditional onshore terminals, allowing companies to start producing and exporting LNG more quickly. Access to remote fields FLNG facilities can be deployed to remote offshore natural gas fields that would otherwise be too difficult or expensive to access with traditional onshore terminals. Increased safety FLNG facilities eliminate the need for workers to access offshore natural gas fields, reducing the risk of accidents and spills. Overall, FLNG facilities provide a new and innovative solution to the production and storage of LNG, offering numerous advantages over traditional onshore terminals. With the increasing demand for LNG worldwide, FLNG facilities are expected to play an increasingly important role in the global LNG industry, 